How was the original Twister from 1996 in the 40X movie theater experience? Let's just say my hair was combed pretty well before the film. Before I get started, please make me your 40X guy by subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss any more 40X content from me. So Twister, the original in 40X, I thought it was going to be a great time, but I was a little nervous. What if they kind of cheaped out and weren't going to put as much energy into making this into 40X? They did not cheap out though. The seat movements are incredible. They're very, very intense. This is one of the, if not the most intense, and one of my favorite, if, if not my favorite, 40X experience. Maybe even above Twisters. Twisters was fantastic. Twisters is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, 40X experience, but this one might be edging it out. I'm seeing Twisters in 40X again, but from what I remember from Twisters, I think I liked this just a little bit more in the 40X format. Both movies, I think, are made for 40X, and 40X was made to show movies like this. So you already know my answer whether I recommend it or not, but let me just go through the seat movements. The seat movements and the capabilities were used very well. Twister and Twisters are really the films to see. 40x for all of you thrill seekers and intense 40x seekers the seats um listen i felt like i was going through it um i felt like i was going through a twister it was bouncing like i was really surprised it was like rumbling and bouncing up and down in twisters there's that movie theater this part's in the trailer but like when the screw is hopping up and down it felt like that like when they were around the tornado getting really close to the tornado i really felt it in the seat the seats were jolting every which way the film looked really good on the big screen i thought at least this 40x just immersed you more into it just like it did for twisters it's wild it's crazy people applauded people were laughing just because of the intensity of it having fun some people a little too much and they were kind of annoying. I loved having a good time with a group of people like this. There was applause afterwards. They did a really good job matching up these seat movements with what was going on on screen with the trucks bouncing around really bumpy. Trucks were bumping around a lot. They go off road at times. Things flying around everywhere in the film. No cows in the theater. It was really well done. Jesus. A lot of puffs of air at your neck and ears. Especially like if, if debris was flying past someone really quick, someone got hit or something, you know, something like that, you know, you'd feel the massages in your back, you'd feel the air puffs. Felt a lot of movement down at my ankles, the air puffs at your ankles, the truck was going over stuff and things were flinging at it. When it was hitting the wheels, it was like, like your ankles. Of course, you can't talk about a twister movie without the air and the water usage. There's a lot of air, of course. I mean, they have to make it feel like you're in a tornado and I really thought I was. The wind, the water, and the seat movements were just working in such great unison. They really complemented each other. They built on each other. A Twister movie is really just the perfect movie to see to really get a taste, a really good taste, a really big taste of all of the capabilities of a 40X auditorium. It's not like just the sea movements are the standout. I mean, they are, but you have the water and the wind just as important. The water, like I said, is a big part of it as well. The wind is blowing around and the water is splashing. You're outside near that Twister. It's a blast. You don't get soaked, but I wiped off my glasses a couple times because there's rain scenes. There's hail, trucks driving through like puddles. You get some rain coming down from the ceiling, mist that comes out from in front of you and the lights of course flash with the lightning electric shocks and stuff like when tornadoes hit electrical lines there's a lot of fog usage when the trucks speed up and the dirt like flings behind them anytime like a dirt or smoke or whatever sometimes with the actual tornadoes it was used of course the fog was used several times it wasn't too much it wasn't too distracting and i was in the first three rows scent i'm not sure if i noticed it all though but for me though scent is like i don't miss it when it's not there because i only have the one scent and a lot of you guys have commented that you guys have these other scents these multiple scents cooler scents but there might have been one or two usages but i wasn't really noticing that this is no secret yes 100 i recommend going to see twister in 40x i was walking out of that auditorium looking disheveled as if I had just survived a twister myself. If you can see both of them, see both of them. They're just fun disaster movies, but I do think they're pretty good movies as well. Both of them. I like them both almost the same, to be honest. Although after this viewing, I might go up to four for Twister. I'm at 3.5 out of 5 for Twisters before my second viewing. So we'll see how that if it goes up like Twister did go up from a 3.5 out of 5 to a 4 out of 5. Did you see the original Twister in 40X? What did you think of it in the format? How does it compare to Twisters in 40X for you? Let me know down in that comment section. If you liked what you've seen here and you want to see some more content from me, please click around here to see some other content from me. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video with the movie fans in your life, hit that notification bell, subscribe, make me your 40X guy, and come to the upside, Dan.